Hello and welcome back to Spoon River Outdoors. Hey, it's currently 10 degrees below zero outside, so I decided to bring you a video through a slideshow. I am somewhat technology challenged, so I hope this holds your interest. Um, as cheesy as this video may be, it does contain some very good information on how to increase your chances at a front leg catch, and we'll discuss a little later in the video as to why that's important. So let's begin by explaining what you're looking at here. Uh, this line will represent the ground line above and below the water level. This is our top of pond or river or the water level. Um, our trap location, our drowning rod or drowning cable, our anchor of choice, and our perfectly animated beaver. So one thing you need to know about beavers is that when they swim, they do not always use their front legs to help power them through the water. Um, they will, that means that they will also swim over the top of your trap with their front legs up before starting, before they do start to walk. You, you've always still have a chance at a back leg catch, and that's better than no catch at all, but it is not preferred. Why do you not want a back leg catch? It's because it decreases your chances at not having a dead beaver when you arrive to check your trap. What can we do to increase our chances of a front leg catch? What we need to do is elevate the ground before the beaver gets to your trap to make him start walking on his front feet. We, we do this by adding pencil sized or a little bit smaller sticks to the ground at roughly the same elevation as your trap. So when you put your sticks in, uh, you want to put them in straight up and down or pointed in the direction of travel, so pointed towards the bank. Don't point the sticks toward the beaver's body. and It could possibly cause it to just turn around, and that's obviously not what you want. So by adding the sticks, the beaver will use its front feet to walk before it starts getting to your trap. Uh, and this simple trick will drastically increase your chances at a front leg catch. Let's talk about why we prefer a front leg catch or why it's important. So a large beaver can move a pretty heavy anchor if it has time. If it keeps its head above water, that alone buys its time. Dead beavers do not move anchor blocks. Once I caught a 50 pound beaver and it pulled a cinder block onto the shore. And the downside to this is that now you have to dispatch your catch. Uh, this adds holes to your pelt and that kind of negates why we're using drowning sets in the first place. Um, not to mention it really increases your chances that predators can get to your uh, catch before you do. Uh, when we have a front leg catch, we increase our odds by finding a dead beaver upon our trap check. Uh, it takes a lot less water to drown a beaver on a front leg catch than it does on a back leg catch. I've used this method method a lot when I don't have long shallow shelves on the water body side of my traps or a deep drowning pool. Uh, it has proven to be very effective. I hope you guys find this video helpful. If you like it, I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel and even share this video on your social media for others to see. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and I thank you for watching.